Hello and welcome to our weekly update. Today is September the 15th. Um, we're, today what we're going to talk to you about, we're going to talk about our, um, our synchronization that we've changed. Uh, last week we touched on, we said how it is, uh, there's a conflict when there's a read and write from the Bluetooth and doing the comp port onto Flash. We have uh, corrected uh, our implementation and now uh, we Anytime there's an interrupt coming in from the Bluetooth, um, anything that was happening uh, through the COM port onto the flash, we could stop, um, place everything in from coming in from the Bluetooth, and then afterwards continue on at the byte that we've stopped initially from the COM port. So that was finished. And next, we're going to talk about uh, we're going to manufacture some parts right here. So what we have here is our 3D printed mold that we're going to use with. Uh, this carbon fiber uh, thread and we have two component uh, epoxy and the reason why we chose this epoxy was because it could withstand um, a temperature of minus 70 uh, to 300 degrees Celsius uh, and the other reason is because of its outgassing properties uh, for this epoxy to cure uh, it has to be held at I believe at 92 uh, degrees Celsius for three hours and then one, uh, 162 for three hours and then after that for uh, outgassing uh, we have to keep this epoxy at around 200 degrees Celsius in a vacuum that's to prevent the outgassing so outgassing is when a structure or form releases uh, gas in a vacuum and it could potentially be dangerous uh, for the whole craft uh, and uh, the way to test if your uh, part that you made, that you manufactured, is uh, uh, doesn't produce any more outgassing, the way to do that is at about 60 degrees Celsius or 70 degrees, um, you keep uh, your part in uh, a vacuum chamber and you see, uh, you bring that chamber to balance and then you see the release of uh, the change in pressure. If it's changing, if it's increasing, obviously there's um, gases that are uh, coming out. And so you don't want that. You want it to stay stable and leveled. So the reason why outgassing is such an issue, a classical example was uh, when a star sensor was covered, the tubes uh, was covered with uh, paint and, didn't, and it didn't have the right uh, outgassing properties. And the paint actually in the vacuum condition started to crack and pieces of it broke off and the star sensor started reading instead of the stars but the, uh, the, the actual paint as the stars so the whole expedition was a complete disaster so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to show that um, we're going to manufacture that crucial piece that uh, puts together that, uh, that wheel that we have so what we started off if you remember we were uh, talking about this thread what we've done is we've cut it in rough roughly sized pieces that uh, could fit into here Right. And so what we're going to do next is we're going to throw these guys inside, like so. So now what we're going to do is we're going to mix the epoxy. Uh, we would want uh, two grams of this and then two grams of this one. Okay, so we're going to put instead of one of each, we're going to put in just uh, we're going to put in two, two grams of each. Now we're going to mix slowly and for 10 minutes. So the reason why we're mixing slowly is uh, to prevent the bubbles. Um, and another method of getting the bubbles out is um, using a vacuum chamber. 
So now that we are ready, we can start pouring in. Yeah, we've uh, mixed a little too much epoxy for this uh, small detail. So now we're gonna um, put this part into the vacuum chamber so that we will uh, so the bubbles will come out and it will level down. So we're just watching the pressure to see if it'll tick. So now we're going to let that piece sit in our vacuum chamber for about an hour. We're going to take that out, let it sit at room temperature for 12 hours. We're going to throw it into the oven um, for 93 degrees uh, Celsius for about uh, two or three uh, hours. After that, that first stage curing happens. Uh, we're going to put the, because uh, it's in the mold and the piece, we're going to put that in water, submerge it in water so the mold will dissolve. Now that piece, we're going to throw it into the oven again for the second curing at 163 degrees Celsius for a couple hours. And then finally, to get the proper outgassing, uh, we're going to uh, have it sit at uh, 200 degrees Celsius in the oven for nine hours. Uh, so. And yeah, so that's our um, update of this week. So in our software, we're going to continue our debugging. And uh, we hope to see you next week.